Seattle, you made the Russell Wilson trade and you had a surprisingly great year, which led to you getting the fifth overall pick from Russell Wilson and having the 20th pick yourself. I finally get to make some first round selections after doing two of your division counterparts who did not have any first round picks. So I want to get right into this and talk about your fifth overall pick with Ty Bree Wilson. Uh, you guys love freaks. Everybody knows how much Seattle loves freak athletes. This is the epitome of a freak athlete. He's getting drafted this high strictly because he is a freak athlete. And if you can develop him, he will become one of the top edge rushers in the NFL. It's something you're missing. It's something that can take your defense to the next level. Speaking of taking your defense to the next level, you need someone with Tariq Woolen out there. You have an all right slot corner. You have Tariq Woolen. Who's going to be that guy? who comes in and can take on the number two wide receiver because everyone knows NFL wide receiver reporters are better than ever. Cam Smith, that's who I would want next to Tariq Woolen. I think Cam Smith is more athletic than he gets credit for. He's a lot smarter than he gets credit for. People are just overall underrating Cam Smith. I've seen him going mid to late second round, and I am flabbergasted by that. He's a top 20 player in this class. I don't think that is you know negotiable in my mind. If you can get Camp Smith here, I think it is a perfect spot for him to be able to flourish in Seattle. Bring back the Legion of Boom. It would be a lot of fun to see him and Roland out there with Tyree Wilson. And the guy that I'm taking at 37. Yes, I'm going defense with the first three picks. Your offense was great this year. I'm getting you Jack Campbell. I'm getting you your stud linebacker that you're missing right now. It's the missing piece to make that defense. Alongside Tyree Wilson, alongside Cam Smith, Jack Campbell is a day one starter in Seattle. He's a day one starter in a lot of places. He doesn't have the highest ceiling, but he's going to be, you know, a captain of your defense. He's going to be a leader out there. He's extremely athletic. He reads, you know, the quarterback better than you think he would. Iowa product. We know Iowa puts out dogs, um, surprisingly, even though they're extremely bad at football. Moving on to a team that's really good at football, and that would be Ohio State uh luke whipler a lot of people like him a lot more than i do um i don't know how high he's gonna go in the draft but i think he should go higher than he's being talked about currently he was getting first round hype now he's getting late third round hype i don't really know what's going on with luke whipler um but he's a center for the future and you can let him be in there with gino or you can wait until you get you know, your quarterback of the future to work with your center of the future and just kind of sit on him for a year, let him develop behind the scenes type thing. Moving on, I got you a wide receiver. I got you A.T. Perry at 83. Huge, 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 huge upside. He's a dude out there. There are some things that I would be worried about with him, but I don't think there are things that scare you away from taking him at 83. He's a good enough football player. He doesn't have to start on your team, and I think that's what's perfect for him. He doesn't even have to play that much on your team. Seattle, you know, there's a lot of good wide receivers in Seattle. He can come in and be a rotational change-up type player. He can, you know, be the curveball that a third corner has to cover, and they're like, whoa, 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 I didn't sign up to cover this guy. He's a lot bigger than we thought. Goes out there, makes a play because he does have speed, does have a good release. That could be, you know, slot-esque, even though he's more of an outside player. At 123, 123, everybody. Byron Young from Alabama, defensive lineman. I'm really sharing up this defense, and I think this defense would be a lot better with these guys. He is going to go in there. He is going to do what you need him to do. Blue-collar type guy. He's never going to be a standout, get pressure type of player. He is going to go in there. He's going to eat blocks. He's going to let your edge rushers, edge rushers work. He does it with Willie Anderson and Dallas Turner at Alabama, and he can do it now with Tyree Wilson in Seattle. One of my guys, I love this guy. It was great to talk to him. Uh, it's Eric Gray at 151. He should probably go higher than this, so this is a bit of a bargain here. Eric Gray is a very north-south runner with athleticism, upside, three-time football, Mr. Football in Tennessee. Tennessee's a pretty competitive state when it comes to football. I don't know if you guys know that. He then went to Tennessee, 
was good, transferred to Oklahoma, was good. He's good everywhere he goes. He's been good at every level. He was good at the Senior Bowl. He's just a good football player. He's going to go out there. He's going to give you 110% on every single snap. Moving on to 154, Jackson Kirkland. He was a guy who was talked about as a first-rounder last year. He injured himself. Then he had a bad year this year. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong for Jackson Kirkland is what it's felt like. But maybe staying, you know, in the Pacific Northwest, being a Washington guy, he can stay up there. He can finally find his footing. And hopefully it works out for Jackson Kirkland, but you're not really betting on it here at 154. Moving on, you're getting a teammate of Eric Gray at 198. It is one. Braden Willis, he's got tight end, full band, full back, you know, capabilities. He's a hybrid type player. I don't think there's another player in the draft quite like Braden Willis. You see what happens with him. It's pick 200, basically. This pick doesn't have to be a guy who's going to change every single game for you. But Braden Willis, if you're at the goal line, put him in there. Start him at tight end, motion him to the backfield send him around he can catch the ball rather well for a guy his size he could be the best of both worlds for you he can help you figure out your tight end situation or he can be a fullback tight end hybrid that nobody else has in the league lastly jordan howden safety from minnesota at pick 237 i don't know a lot about him i know he's got a good athletic makeup and for that reason i figured it was worth a flyer on him let him play special teams. Let him see what he can do out there. And maybe he turns into a reliable safety for you. Who knows? That is all for the Wee Ball mock draft. Make sure you check out the rest of our mocks. Thank you so much for listening. And Wee Ball.